To the rebound now, and as so many Americans do still struggle to find work, some have decided to create an opportunity for themselves. Experts say there's been a spike in new business applications. Alicia Nieves looks at how it can impact our economic recovery. Thousands of businesses have closed their doors, but this new bookstore in New York City is hoping to open. The owner, Lee Altshuler, lost her job in March. I was caught definitely by surprise. Rather than searching for a new job, she decided to bet on herself, invest her entire savings into a business around her passion for books. It felt so low when I lost my job. And to be able to turn this into something that makes me feel so lucky and so fortunate is already a huge success. Some may call her decision inspirational, others crazy, but it's part of a growing trend. I was working at a, a, a local restaurant here in Tampa. Nicholas Bryan and his brother Greg recently opened a meal kit business around Chef Nick's homemade pasta. Starting a business together was an idea they kicked around for years, but never had the time to fully flesh out. That is until Nick lost his job. Definitely yeah. had a little bit of time to slow down and to actually plan things out. The business has taken off, providing more than a good income for the siblings. I feel free. I feel a lot freer than I, than I did a few months ago, like doing what I, what I love on my own time, create my own dishes, it's, and, and being financially sustained, it's, it's, it's awesome. Across the country, there have been at least 3.2 million new business applications filed this year. This time last year, that number was around 2.7 million. It's hard to know, I think, at the moment as to whether or not um, this trend that we have seen that, that is very discernible is going to continue, and it's hard to know exactly what the you know, the real impact over time is going to be. John Deary is the founder for the Center for American Entrepreneurship in Washington, D.C., and says new businesses like Sweet Pickle Books and Pasta Packs have an uphill battle. But if these businesses and others survive, they could be a major factor in our economic recovery. Startups are disproportionately responsible that they're not the only source, but they're the major source. They're disproportionately responsible for the innovations that drive economic growth and job creation in the economy. For now, they are helping at least these three people survive and find purpose in this pandemic. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.